Hey guys, welcome to another episode. And today I'll be talking about the Astro A40. Man, I've been using these headsets for, I would say about six months to a year right now. These things are awesome. Man, um, I have no, hardly no complaints. Maybe just one I'll get to. But for the most part, this is a mid-tier Astros, right? I had an A10 before and it's still kicking. I actually, I I use it at my church when I'm doing live streams there. Just so I don't have to bring my A40s. But um, yeah, these things have been really good, really durable. I would say number one, durability. Um, yeah, these things are, they're built, they're not, not built like a tank, but they're just super dirty. They're like a Jeep. Like they can go through anything. You drop them, kick them, they bend. They have a great material that um, absorbs a lot of shock, and um, it's really cool. I think I think they 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 um they hit it out of the park with this design of it. Um, it is really cool for like gamers. You know, anything can happen. You're frustrated. You throw your headphones. You do all kind of stuff. So it's really cool. And um, different head sizes. It um it's extremely adjustable. There's no head this can't fit. Only like what the Juggernaut or something from X Men. That's the only head it can't fit or something. But um, yeah, it's really adjustable, which is something I really like. Um, it comes with two cables, like a splitter. So it comes with like a built-in splitter, which is really cool. Um, it comes with a really long cord, detachable. Always get cords detachable. That's that's a must. You know, you just never know what can happen. Um, it has the optional um, like where you can control your sound better. The, like the Dolby Audio little mix, the mix amp, which is cool. Uh, I didn't get that. I just got the version just with the headphones because I, I use the audio interface, the Focusrite, which I'll be doing a review of also. Um, I'll just link that when when I do that video. That's a, that's what I do. Um, so I don't need any mix amp. It just runs through audio interface. I can control my volume levels and everything. So it's really cool. Right now, I'm using it as a monitor mostly. I'm speaking with the focus right through my pod mic, but it's a monitor and it also works as um my headphones. So when I'm um when I'm speaking to people through like Discord, but the chat, but the live streams can't hear me. So I kind of reroute it away. So yeah, I got I got multiple um multiple uses with, with this with this thing. Um, the materials are really nice i got the it comes default with the um the, like the foam kind of padding not the leather i'm thinking about buying the leather and that's the, i think the best thing about this is modular it's so modular you can replace almost anything in this um you know so it's just a lot of pluses i don't think i would i would be shocked what i need with the um, upper model like the a50 man i don't know and it's so clear i've even done like podcasts using this you know my pod mic is better but um but for the most part i haven't got any complaints using just using the headphones you know with the um with, with the um the flexible uh, mic which is really cool you can put it up or down um you got mute you can mute your um your your voice and that's attached to the um your cord so that's pretty cool i like that the only thing about the a um, a10s when you mute you have to put up the um the mic and it's like it's kind of unnerving you never really know if you're mute but i like this where once you mute you have a you know, decent red indicator like a red um piece of plastic that you that it uncovers so you'll know you're muted because i mean maybe like you're in a strike team and someone's doing awful <laughs> you just want to like mute and talk about it or something so yeah um i think it's really cool um i've haven't had no complaints on the other end i've even used it on phone calls that's not what it's for but um it's been pretty crisp I had no issues there so i definitely think this is a go uh it goes for about 150 sometimes you can see it a little cheaper I, th I think it's worth it if you play if you're playing games um a decent amount of times four or five hours a week it's it, it, i don't know it, it goes a long way to me but the A10s are great also, so I will link that also. If you're just, you know, you just want to throw it on. But I, I don't know, maybe aesthetics though. The A10s lasting just as long. But the only, only thing is, uh, is just um, the top part of the headphones where your head rests. 
the plastic is kind of it's rubbing off i guess well not the plastic itself but the, the coating i guess the coating is is kind of cheaper so that's the only thing i would say um i'm looking at it right now it's not perceivable like no one no one can honestly see it yeah it's not perceivable to anyone only you would see even from the outside just a little bit but other than that i think this is a go and i would i would recommend anyone um, buying this astro is not paying me to do this <laughs> this is just stuff i use and i like to do videos of stuff i use people see me using all the time and maybe they you know maybe they want to start out and they're looking for some good quality stuff because when you're first starting out you can't buy stuff and they break even if you buy a, a mid-tier product you just cannot break you know that's one thing about starting out when you're doing content all the stuff you buy have to work and they have to be pretty they have to work consistently all right so that's uh rick tone let me know if you guys use astros or what other brands you use but i definitely swear by these all right take it easy peace